Hello. On this Ricky report, I will look into whether or not Harden is haunted, and more importantly, why. To help answer this question, I turn to Harden's haunt expert, Mr. Edwards. All the stories he shared with us regard the old Harden. Well, I'm a little bit of a investigator. I typically go into these places where I think there might be ghosts. I'll stand in the middle of a place and I'll go, I'm going to count to three if anybody wants their picture taken. Now's the time. I was just kind of hanging around taking pictures because I had been theater producer for seven years. And this, for example, is a slide of the very last show, the last production of the Harriton Theater Company. There's this distinct shape here and another distinct shape here. Just think it looks like someone sitting on the edge of the stage. When Mr. Edwards rotated a picture he took from backstage, he saw this. Look at this. Look at how the light bends. And on top of that, it's a face. The eyes are where they're supposed to be, the mouth is where it's supposed to be, and I just thought, wow, this is the last production of the Harrington Theatre Company. How appropriate. One of the old people showed up. When Mr. Edwards first got to Harrington, a fellow teacher told him something very interesting. He was aware of a map that was on, um, in storage at the Lower Marion Historical Society, that on it had the old um, the neighborhood around here, and one of the legends in the area here, the hillside, uh, where Harriton High School is now, was uh, this legend um, written, Slave's Graveyard. So, does a slave graveyard really exist on the Harriton property? I came here to the Lower Marion Historical Society to find out. Sadly, I just found out that they're closed for the day, so I decided I would try my luck by going on the Lower Marion Historical Society's vast archives online. Now, I didn't find that map, but what I did find is an article about how the Harden Plantation's field slaves were buried on the rise behind the Harden House. Funny thing is, Harden High is on that rise. Built in 1704, the Howarden House's most famous resident was the Secretary of the Continental Congress, Charles Thompson. But it was Richard Harrison, a Quaker, who owned slaves. I talked to Bruce Gill, the curator of the Howarden House, to clarify exactly where that graveyard was. People used to see it in the 1870s, uh, but we don't know where it is today. Well, it's certainly on the property. Harrington High School is built in the peach orchard of the original estate, but we think it's sort of at the corner where uh, Old Gulf Road and Eithen Avenue are. It wasn't only Mr. Edwards who saw these haunts. It was his students. I, she said, I do see that thing. She also said that the old girl's um, locker room in the gymnasium was um, very troubled and that the reason that students weren't using it anymore and no one would talk about it was because of the, um, the feelings that they had of being um, looked at and that um, people were disturbing them when they would go in. So nobody goes in there anymore. And in fact, that's a fact, um, they didn't use the girls' gym locker uh, around the time the place closed. Now, my sister Allie, who graduated Harriton in 2007, actually confirmed that that is true. So why was the original Harden Gymnasium haunted? Well, it turns out that two people died in the construction of the original Harden Gymnasium. Mr. Perone gave me this article from 1957. According to the article, two men were crushed to death by fallen girders when the roof collapsed during construction. One started to run but didn't make it. His body was found crushed beneath the girder. The other man fell with the structure and was killed instantly when he was hit on the head by one of the heavy pieces. So is Harden really haunted? I'll let you decide. Reporting from someplace outside of Harden High School, for HHS-TV, I am Ricky Reports. Stay informed, Harden.